So, uh, how's it going? Just a forewarning, this video's long. Please try to stick with it. A lot happened. I didn't get done what I wanted, but there's so much to watch. Way Burn. too many things happened. I think I have PTSD now. But if you do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and maybe subscribe. This is pretty much all the footage in order. Maybe I'll put some commentary over it. I don't know. Good luck, because you're going to need it. Oh, little guy's in there. Oh, he's all sad in a hole. He's in the hole. Oh, little guy. <laughs> What's going on over there? We need to, um... We need to make this a little better. Isn't this it, it just amazing gameplay? Oh my god. I like how I make fun of them and then immediately get one of the best trades in the entire game. All right, well, you're locked in. How about you, fella? How about blast protection four or protection four? What? <laughs> well, I need more villagers. <laughs> Move. Oh, I need that anyway. I might as well take it. La la la, just minding my own business. Oh, it'd be a shame if I got protection four for a reasonable price. F oh, hell yeah. Feather falling four. I've got to expand. Huh, 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 huh. Now, how about you make this easy? Get in the hole. All right, what do we have? Looting three, blast protection four, feather falling four, aqua affinity, sweeping edge three. Oh my God, I bought aqua affinity twice. I, I cannot believe I did that. Listen, buddy, this is not your fault. You did everything right. Some people just don't work out in this position, you know? It's all right. It's okay. You did your best and that's all that matters. I just, sorry to inform you, we have to let you go. Oh, uh, don't cry. No, don't cry. Now I feel even worse. Uh, respiration three or protection four or depth strider three. There are options. It would help if I actually knew what I was looking for instead of just grabbing the first thing that comes to mind. Neuron activation. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, great, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ooh, sharpness five on this axe is feeling really fun. <laughs> oh, it would be a shame if I hot. 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 It would be a shame if I That's pretty good. Um, little expensive, but I think that's all right, because we're only going to need it three times anyway, so it's fine. Oh, you're asking for it, buddy. You're asking for it, bub. I'm gonna pull out my mitts and we're gonna have a little fighting match. A little goofy goober globberin. Do you hate me or something? Is that it? Mm, you're not making it easy. I'm trying not to go silly. Try not to be crazy. I'm about to end your bloodline. Dude. Uh, come on. Wow, that's a good price. Good news, you're employed. Bad news, you're dead to me. Indeed. Survival of the fittest, what can I say? How about you give me respiration three and we make this quick? Well, would you look at that? Isn't that something? Give me my water back. All right, let's get it lined up. Respiration three, aqua affinity, blast protection four, unbreaking three, and mending, right? Sounds right to me. Calm down. Let's take a candor up here. Hello, Brick. Head in the wall as usual, huh? I'd like to think he doesn't actually even have a head. It's just, it, it like morphs onto his body when he's not looking at the wall. Looks good to me. Easy breezy cover girl. One step there. Three more to go. Boots next, because I want my boots. Oh no. Ah. Uh, oh no. Unreal. This is what I've stooped to. Stealing iron from my ceiling. If I had an anvil, I'd get fortune three real fast, but nope. Did I leave someone here maybe? No. I actually just am out of iron. Man, what the f Calm down. Hold up. Wait a minute, something feels right. Oh my god, that feels right. Holy moly. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, this was a move. Maybe I should get a pickaxe first. What the fuck? Fuck you. It's daytime ass. The disrespect I get in this community. Maybe I should get the pick now. I didn't buy a second one. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, I got such a funny name idea. Wonder where Lord Reginald is. I haven't seen him in a while. But we named him, so he should be alive somewhere. I hope he's living his best life. I'm bringing this thing down here. Alright, so this was the funny name I was thinking of. <laughs> oh, come on, that's funny! Uh, and then they post, like, some shitty TikTok link for, like, to some random product that no one wants. We are about to run out of an anvil again. Bulletproof vest. We're going tactical here. It's gonna break before I finish my leggings, I can feel it. Son of a bitch, I knew it was coming. This is why I got the fortune pick. I don't really think I'd bother coming out all this way. I remember looking at this cave when I first got there. But here we- What the hell? With this little goofy ass beach with a, uh, a tree on it. It's funny. This is a massive cave. Oh my god. Wow. And that goes deep too. Like that- That's pretty far in there. 
Ow. You think you can play with me like that? You think you could be funny? You think you could be silly? You think you can be a little jerk? You think you could be funny and silly and a little jerk? No. I am literally God now. Blow up. Do you think I care? Cry about it. Hmm. I feel real scared right now. I think this falls more threatening. Oh, shut up! You know what? Fine. Oh, you have feather falling? No, you don't. Unlucky. Do you think I asked for you to do that? I will end your life. Hey, more gold! I will always take gold. Thank you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Make you feel good about yourselves. Shut up. <laughs> I always forget they're bouncy. I forgot my entire train of thought. <sighs> uh-huh. Oh, anvil. Oh my god, right? Is that what I needed? I need an anvil, correct. Yes. So let's see, what are the final things that we need to make here? These two need to be popped together. Booty shot. <laughs> Bowdy shorts. Bowdy shorts. Uh, how's that? Is Bowdy shorts good or should I just make it booty shorts? You know what? No, it's, it's Bowdy shorts. I think that's everything. I got the Crocs, the Bowdy shorts, the bulletproof vest, and the easy breezy cover girl. If anyone wants to make fan art of that, where I have Crocs, booty shorts, a bulletproof vest, and makeup on, Please be my guest. Let's thonk this baby back up here. Donk! I don't know if there's much left to do here right now. I think we should focus on a new project. Oh my god, that's a lot of bread. I mean, we're sitting fat and happy with the, uh, the resources here. Oh, that reminds me. So we have to name Scully. We also <laughs> get to name another animal. This was suggested by Suti. Suti, 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 Suti. I don't know how to say it. You know what? Suti. I should name a dog Uploaf. I've been saying Uploaf for so long now. I, I I don't know if- I think that was a basically homeless thing, but it's funny. So I think upload for the dog is one of the funniest things ever. Come on, Brick. Oh, wait, is that Reginald to say goodbye? No, he just- is he eating a spruce log? What was that in his mouth? I'm pretty sure that's spruce. Bro is gnawing on some wood. Holy cow. He's got the whole log in that mouth. Oh my god. What an interesting feller. It's gonna be weird going back over to where the base is. I haven't been over there since, uh, since the whole shenanigans started over here. So it's been about a week and a half now. <laughs> I can't believe we're god tier. It makes me so happy because that felt so painless. The way I had things set up, the villagers were so easy to cooperate with. The farming was easy. The emeralds were easy. Everything was just easy. Like, when you when you go through this rodeo as many times as I have at this point, like, uh, eventually it's bound to get Simplified and I definitely think that the the commentary and recording is definitely helping with that because it's making it entertaining in multiple other ways All right. Hi. Oh, we don't have a name for we don't have a name for the cat yet. So we have Scully Hi, buddy, and we have Uploaf <laughs> Let's freaking go. You know what? I'll bring them both with me for a little bit We need sand and sandstone because I'm gonna need many many pieces of glass. All right, Brick, you stay here and watch guard Uploaf, you come with me. I'm gonna need sandstone. The sooner we can start in this house, the better and more epic and more cool it will be. Oh yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at these schmooze. Oh my goodness. Oh! Watch yourself, Uploaf. Oh uh, yeah, kelp. How does that count as kelp? Is this an ocean? This is an ocean. Seriously? This tiny little patch is an ocean. This is the goofiest biome I've ever seen. There might be a decent amount of sandstone here, honestly, but I don't know that I want to destroy it because it'll be near the house. I say we go farther. It'll make restocking a little bit more of a pain in the ass, but I think that'll be all right. I'd rather go a little further and not destroy the scenery. Oh, there is sandstone down here. I actually didn't expect that. How much, though? Ah, some. It's not too bad, actually. Can you stop trying to get yourself hit? I swear to God, this dog wants to die. Should I give myself a challenge for this too? Should I try to stay green? I was thinking about the kelp that we have in front of the house. It might... <laughs> I never do it. I always want to make a kelp farm, but I never bother. Should I really go out of my way to use kelp as fuel here? I'm thinking about it. It'd be kind of silly, kind of goofy even. That's a spider jockey. Oh my god. Oh, whoa, whoa, get him! Get his ass! No, don't kill yourself for it. You're so sexy, ah ha ha. I want to yoink these bees. Let's go! Give me your balls. No balls? Literally no balls. Trick shot! Trick shot! Oh! You missed! Oh, you suck! Oh, unlucky! No, where are the balls at? Mm, good enough for now. 
Actually, no, you know what? It isn't good enough. I see him creeping up on me. Ah! No way, you're still following me! Weirdo! Oh my god, I keep just- I'm like a moth. Every time I get towards the light, I'm like, oh, what's in the light? And then I remember it's a lava pit. I'm telling you, one day, down the line, either me or a dog is going to die to that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the green thing. It would be funny. Just come down here and do a trim occasionally. Oh my god. Okay, there's a lot. Whoa! I didn't realize how much you get from that. I don't even think I'll be able to carry it all. Bro really just said... I think I want to make something here where it's like I'm importing and exporting materials. So like say at the base we have an auto smelter, right? And I want to use kelp blocks for the auto smelter. I think it would be really cool to bring the kelp in fresh from a farm somewhere else in the world. So that'll be later down the line after we get extra shulker boxes and stuff and a shulker farm and, you know, other nonsensical farms. I think it'd be really cool to just like bring a shulker box of kelp in and then throw it into the auto smelter and it will turn it into charred kelp. We craft it, put it back into the auto smelter and it flows through like and helps us in our process. Processes. We're gonna have a chest. We're gonna have this thing. We're gonna go like that. That's not what I meant to do. We're gonna go like this. And we're gonna go like that. Wow, isn't this crazy? Uh, this is so dumb. We're saving the environment, guys. We're saving the environment. All in Minecraft, where it doesn't actually make an impact. Yeah, let's go. Anyway, dried kelp block. Throw that baby in there. And look at that, let the kelp flow. So this should smell, what, 10 items? Is that right? Does it smell 10 items or is it 12 items? It might eat even more, I don't know. Either way, it'll slowly gain kelp blocks. But it's infinite fuel, technically. I, yeah, I guess it is infinite fuel, but it, it's, it's still ridiculous. Oh, it smells a lot more. It must be 20 items. All right, cut to six days from now where I'm panicking to get this done. <laughs> Definitely necessary. Totally legit, all in survival. So this is a different start. <laughs> I am in my Xbox 360 and Xbox One world that I used to play in all the time as a kid. And I'm sure you could tell because the frame rate's at like 20. Oh my god. Some of these places, man. I was funny. I was funny then. I'm funny now, right? This is Boneheart. I think my dad always thought that name was funny because it sounds like Boner. But if you watched the first episode of this series, you probably know that I rebuilt Stampy's world. At least a large portion of it, right? So up here, over the hill, I have some of my builds back here, right? My little town, my little village. But over here, we have Stampy's house and some of the town and a little bit of other stuff. I want to put my spin on Stampy's house, what I felt like it was as a kid. So generally, I want to stick with the like main body of the house being over the water with two main bedrooms on each side and a corridor in between. Two offshoot tunnels like right here and right here. The clubhouse. The actual amenities of the house, like the kitchen, the bathroom, the living room, and my office. Then the crafting room and the storage room. However, I think with mine, the crafting and storage room is probably going to be something a little bit different. Because I'm going to go automatic with my storage system at some point, I think it would only be fair to um, uh, not do this. I think it'd only be fair to put it down in the base, but I'm not too sure yet. I haven't really decided because, you know, I haven't gotten that far along. It's only been a few days since the last video, so I haven't had a lot of time. I've put a little bit of time into things, but not too much. So don't think it's that deep. But just like 20 minutes ago or so, I was looking at this house. I didn't realize how small it was. It's super tiny. That's what she said. When I was younger, it, it, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I it just felt so much bigger than it is in reality. I don't even know if that was the right direction. Was that even the same direction I was spinning? So I, I took a little bit of time and I, um, designed a lot. I really think this is going to be my bedroom design. So I took the main shape of the house. Wait, no, this side's the one that's done. And I took like this roof size and like the pattern and the, just the general shape and kind of morphed it into something a little bit bigger and a little bit more my style. And this feels really comfortable for me. But now that I'm looking at it, and I looked at the world, I'm kind of upset that I didn't pick out the white walls. I knew something didn't quite look right. Also, the ceiling, that's not staying like that. There's no way. I've got to get the ceiling the right color. Uh, oh no! It doesn't line up. Ah. I don't know. I'll, I'll find a way to make the ceiling look right. The painting's about to go. God damn it. I like the blue one! G Give me the blue one! No! Proof of concept, let's just get the general design in there. Let's get the design in here with the, the, with the, oh. Yeah, the white looks so much better. Oh my god, yeah, no, that's exactly how I remember it. That's crazy, because that's the right color, who would have thought? What the 
the fuck? The pattern of the room is gonna stay the same. I want it to be about this scale. That is bugging me so much. I want it to stay about this scale, where it's like Stampy's room. Plus uh, a few years of m maturation. Ma maturity. A few years of maturity. A nice fine wine. And just my spin on it. Also, nerd sleeps here. I, I don't remember what it says on it in his house. I wait, I'm literally sitting there. The signs aren't there on my version! I don't know, I'll probably put something silly up there. Like I said, Fortnite on this one. Fortnite! And now back here in the hallway, I started the main corridor, and yeah, as you can see, it's a, it's a lot bigger. It's a, it's much, much bigger than Stampy's. Uh, that wasn't really intentional, I just actually did not realize it was that small. But I'm happy with this size, so I'm probably gonna stick to this scale. And the tunnel, yeah, it's also insane. I, I don't really know what I'm doing. I was trying to get a slightly different pattern than the one I showed off in the first video. I I'm not feeling this. I feel like the sandstone's gotta be the main thing and then the wood's gotta be wrapping around it, but I, I don't know. That's gonna take a little bit of time to get right. And over here, over here, I've decided to lay out kind of what I want this to look like. I think about that much of a gap is good. That'll give us plenty of distance on both sides for the river and the lake underneath. I kind of just like the accent walls. Maybe we'll do the same thing back here and I will move this a few blocks that direction. It might give us a little bit more space for design in this room because right now I'm kind of limited by how close it is. Like this, I'm not happy with. I was just kind of throwing something there. This, I'm not happy with. Flat walls, not in my base. There's a lot I'm trying to come up with here and trying to prevent because I'm really, really picky. Like unnecessarily picky. But I think this is a pretty good start. Uh-huh, similar vibe, right? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Who are you? So essentially we need stuff, lots of stuff. This is where we're building this and I am really excited. Like with Stampy's house, right? Let me let me give you a little bit of layout. Say his bedroom was right here. The love garden and the crafting room would be over there on that hill. Love garden would be like right there-ish. Like the end of the love garden and the start of the crafting room would be pretty much flush with the balcony. The clubhouse would be over here on top of this hill. That's kind of where I'm going with this. This like ridiculous little pond that we stumbled across that somehow has ocean in it is the perfect shape i can i can see it now and i think it's gonna happen and it's gonna be wonderful but in order to do that we need a lot of things we are gonna need oak lots of oak which is good because over here there's a lot of oak we're also gonna need a lot more sandstone because that's probably not gonna be enough and we're gonna need wool but other than that it's relatively cheap things it's gonna be the coolest thing on youtube gonna be a hit new series called i built stampy's lovely world in my style it's gonna be like a thumbnail of Stampy's, and then like the other half's gonna be uh, just like me. It's gonna be like inside there are two wolves, and it's gonna be like Stampy and me. I also just thought one thing that might be a problem is snow. I haven't seen any. At least not that I can remember. Actually, yeah, now that I think about it, I haven't seen any at all. We're gonna need to find a snowy mountain. Well, I'm gonna explore and mine a little bit. You'll see anything interesting along the way. Hey, a forest fire. Ah, uh, I'm gonna need it. Unlucky, really, truthfully, unlucky. Ah, child, I ah, shitting on me. Oh my god. Oh, he dropped his balls. Are we done? Good lord. Hey, we, we, we solved the forest fire. Don't look that way. We solved the forest fire. Oh, the forest is on fire. We have too many trees. Get rid of them. Climate activist? No. Tree burner? Yes. What is this world? It's it's only Mega Taiga every direction. What? Genuinely, what what is this? That's also Taiga. Good, oh, good lord. Well, if we ever need spruce leaves, I know where we're coming. He said coming. Is this? Oh my god, I thought it was abandoned for a second. It looked like there wasn't a door on that one. I will take all of this hay, though. The sheep are gonna bow down to me. They're gonna be like, feed me, master. Feed me. Oh, please, some more wheat if you could spare it. I might take those cauldrons. <laughs> take his shoes. I'm just gonna take his shoes. Whoa. What the f I need that cat. I need that cat. His name will be Kratos. Like, Crater. Oh, come on. That'd be so goofy. Oh, maybe not. Okay, I need to think of something better. Echo, Echo, Echo. That's the name I want. Echo. Because, like, it's a cavern. So, like, you know, you yell in a cavern, you're gonna get an Echo. Uh, why are all my names so, like, uh, down a trail of story? Like, you see, uh, it's actually, his name is, uh, Von Petus the Great, because in the, uh, early ages of- I always come up with this, like, elaborate meaning for something, and it doesn't make sense. Don't tell me to- Oh, please don't. Please don't. Please don't jump in the lava. Come here, please. Please. Please don't run. I hear you. Come on. It's too far for him. Please. Don't jump in the lava, please. Yes. Oh my god. There's too much going on. Okay. We have Echo. Pink collar and everything. Oh, you're my favorite cat already. Oh my. This is such a cool place. Do you know how Crazy Craft felt back in the day? Right? How insane everything was, and you saw those weird biomes and structures and everything. Everything just feels so grand. 
Especially at the time where, like, Stampy's house was the standard for giant builds. Or, like, the Temple of Notch was like, This is the most insane Minecraft build ever, guys. It's kind of what I get from these caves. Like, this is just so absurdly big. It's not even down to Deep Slate, which is the craziest part. Echo, scare him off! Scare him off! Get out of here! Yeah, pussy! You're afraid of my pussy! Wow, that skyline, dude! That is gorgeous! I, I love spruce trees. I, I just, I always have. I've, I love spruce trees. I love the wood. <laughs> what did he say? I love how spruce looks as a texture. I love the tree itself. And I love evergreen trees in general. Oh, and you look at that. Speaking of evergreen. Isn't it my lucky day? God damn it, I forgot how this works with silk touch. All right, I, all I need is a snow golem, so that's plenty. I think that's enough. I, I don't really need that much snow anyway. I just need a little bit for the decals in the wall. Wait, that's an iceberg. Oh! We could definitely get goats, too, at some point. I have so many ideas! My brain is trembling with thoughts, and I crave violence! Echo, are you scared to feast upon my meats? <sighs> Wait, where, where's Echo? I walk past a house with a bed in it, guarantee she's laying on it. She's trying! <laughs> she's really trying! Watch this. <laughs> hmm, who would have thought? <laughs> Crazy how that works. Aww, That was such a good feature. They did not need to add that, but they did, and it- <gasps> What are the chances of that? That's gotta be like next to none. If you aren't aware, cats can give you a present when you wake up in the morning after they sleep on the bed with you. Or I guess near you. I, I don't really know how it works, but I know that they can gift you presents. A lucky rabbit's foot? Really? That's gotta be rare. Stay away from me, you green turd. That's what I thought. It takes this long to move just regular animals who will fight to the death for a piece of wheat? But they want you to, like, you know, bring villagers to nine different biomes just to get books and random trades that aren't even maxed. Son of a bitch! Now I gotta go over there! What if there's an allay? If there's an allay over here, I'm going to shit a brick. Oh, wait, actually. No way! I've not seen an allay in survival yet. Please, please don't hit my cat. Please don't, please don't hit my cat. All right, I'm gonna add lore to this. Next episode, after we have the base, we're breaching this and we're absolutely killing every single person here just to get the allays. Stop shooting at me! You hit the cat once, I kill you. Teleport, 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 thanks. So we have a second village primed for an iron farm. We have our village, which was very close to where I want to base up. We have terrain that is almost identical to what I wished for. We have a laze within a few hundred blocks. Yeah, next episode, we're making sure that happens. Where the hell am I? <laughs> there we go. There's home. I feel in the mood to go get a name tag, but I don't think I need to. Maybe I will though. Fine, I'm going to get one. <gasps> oh, sorry, I need to repair my shovel with bread real fast. All right, Echo. What's the plan here? I'll keep some of these trees because they won't be in the way. All of these oak ones though, we need them and they are in my way. That's a lot of wood. You know what I'm saying? Wink, wink. <laughs> That's a lot of wood. <laughs> no one said that to me. <laughs> Ugh, I guess I'll remove the nasty trees. I don't get all the hate. I actually kind of like birch. Like in general, the planks are nice. The log has a cool texture. Stripped log looks fantastic. I don't know why people bitch. None of the woods really look bad. Even acacia can look really nice in under like under specific circumstances it doesn't really look good by itself but that's because it doesn't it, it doesn't look natural like that's like if you taped a salmon to a wall and said it's art it, it's only gonna fit in a fish collector's house <laughs> i love how ridiculous it is every time i craft more there's just somehow more kelp in there so i want to keep the old base intact because i really think that it's cool to preserve stuff like this this little mountain may or may not go I don't, I don't want the tunnel in the house to be too tall. It is my main concern here, but I think it's going to end up being a little tall because I want it to line up with that hill. And I think at the same time, that hill does line up with the top of these two. And I'm okay with that. I, I definitely think I can make it work. I, I can make anything work if I really put enough effort into it. And I'm putting a lot of effort into this, so it's going to work. I'm telling you, it's a promise. But in order to preserve this, I think that the tunnel coming off the base should go just over top of these two mountains and the wall for like the clubhouse area of his house should start like here-ish and maybe this can be an entrance and we can preserve our old base in the side of it because it'll be a part of the mountain that it's using as support but now we gotta figure out where everything's gonna go so one thing that bugs me is that it's not perfectly round so i can't really center it with this area i kind of have to center it around that which is okay, because I do want the tunnel to go over this mountain. Let me build a little platform. Let me build a little platform. Torbjorn! <laughs> You're just phased into reality up here. 
Like if I'm doing the uh, the stampy walk, right? And I like, you know, crouch around, pretend like I'm walking this direction, and then I'm like, oh, look, out the front door. Ah, uh, this is a pretty cool view. Like, that's a good view. Like, that's pretty much what I want. It's like edge of the balcony, maybe like right here. These are the fence posts. I could definitely see myself making that work. That's also not bad, which is pretty in line with where I want it. Maybe like one block lower. I'm getting so picky. So then we can base the bedroom off of this area backwards, and then we can build the hallway and extensions off of that because I haven't really designed them yet. So I think bedroom's probably the main priority right now. All right, sheep it is because I need some hawul. Here, sheepy, 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 sheep. Here, sheepy, sheepy, sheep. Mm. All right, well, you look like you're alone for right now. Hey, if you can provide wool, you're at least helpful. Come on, keep moving. Keep moving. Keep it moving, Marvin. <laughs> now I kind of want to name him that. Keep it moving, Marvin. Keep it moving, Marvin. Are we gonna- uh, We're gonna have so many animals on our base, aren't we? I can already feel it. Dude, it, it, when we- Dude, 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 literally dude, chat, like, that's- that's chatless. That's just like what I do because I'm like a streamer, like, dude. When we find Reginald, I would like to keep him in the base. Obviously, he deserves a house. The, the sheep is staying with us. I'm getting attached to every animal I see now. Keep it moving, Marvin. Keep it moving, Marvin. Wow, if only I could sleep away this rain so I didn't have to sit through it. That's it. I'm making it look good for the video. Keep it moving, Marvin. Wow. Every time I look at this game, I see something screenshot worthy. But you can't tell me that that's not like a good wallpaper. If that one leaf block wasn't there, yeah. Yes, Echo. It's nice to see you. Hey, thanks, Marvin. It's stuck in my- it's not even funny, nor does it sound good, it's just entertaining. Keep it moving, Marvin. I think it's time. What do you think? I think it's time for me to, like, open my door because it's getting really hot in here. Also, what is that line? Was I looking at something? What the- You saw that, I wasn't making that up. There was a line. Eh, whatever. Hey, thanks, Marvin. I feel like soon enough we're gonna have a drowned in the house, too. Look at him, he's just chilling down there. He's never gonna despawn because of the kelp. If he makes it to, like, episode 5, he's earned a spot. Look at him, he's preparing, he's going deeper. Uh -huh. I'm gonna fill in the wooden floor for now. One, that'll allow me to do this. Oh, not that. Will allow me to do this, so it's actually what it's supposed to look like. And two, it'll just make it easier for building the floor. I'm gonna do this. So this is where the wall will be, meaning that the other wall will be right here. Yeah, that's right, and then it's the five by five right here. Hmm. Well, that was not that bad. Or is it centered? Boom, 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 boom. A little bit of detail here and there, but you know, it's coming together. If Marvin would hurry the fu- I need two sna'a blocks, and I need a pumpkin so that I can get a little guy. Hey, nice, thanks for existing. And done. That was not a voiceover, that was actually real time. Ooh, something I did not think about is, um... We have white wool, which is alright, because I need that for the walls too. But concrete powder, I can't make because I don't have bone meal. Oh, I forgot you could do that now. Keep it moving, Marvin. Yeah, wow, we're so close. Okay, we have some serious problems here. This video is like 36 minutes long, and I'm not even close to getting done what I wanted done. So we have to rapid fire. Or not, it's probably gonna be the same pace and I'll edit and post. So I made a good point about not being able to get white concrete, and I think that what we should do is get a looting sword. Regardless of if it's like maxed out or whatever, it doesn't really matter as long as it's like sharp five, mending, and looting. That way I can farm some skeletons, get some bone meal, and then move about the day. But it is now Sunday. I have uh, probably a good 20-ish hours I can put in now before I gotta upload this video. And I've barely even started the bedroom, and the whole goal is to build the whole house. Well, at least like the main corridor. I, it's not gonna get- you, you should have expected this from me. Oh, I wonder where the village is. Oh, that's crazy. Ah, Is that the first water bucket clutch I failed? This is my downfall. Episode 3, the end. Episode 2, I'm ruining the economy. Episode 3, the world has ended, everyone's dead. What? Oh. Why does that mouse button not work? Hold on. That is button five. Wait, what? Oh my god! I'm so sorry. Why'd you teleport right there? I need fish. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> I gotta figure out why it's doing this. I just spent three minutes trying to fix that. And the only thing I had to do was go into Logitech settings, disable the button, go out, go back in, re-enable it, and it works perfectly. Look at that. Just because that happened to me, I'm pissed off. I'm getting a god sword. I hate Enderman. Are the only two books I'm missing? Wait, sharpness five. 
Unbreaking 3, Sweeping Edge 3, Looting 3, Mending, and fire aspect. Fire aspect 2 is the only thing I'm missing? Well, I might as well just get both real quick. Turns out when you're a maniac and you do a whole bunch of extra stuff you don't need to do, you get things done faster later down the line. That's my advice to all of you. Go crazy. Go stupid. Huh, no trap doors. Huh. Oh, I have two trapdoors. Oh, and I have two lecterns. Wow, that's so convenient. Wow, that's great. There's- oh my- I need two villagers, two books, I have two spots, two lecterns, two trapdoors, 20 levels. That one doesn't really make sense. Oh my god, and they both get in there. I love this game. Cry about it. Come on, two very easy books, guys. Let's go- What the fuck? Oh, there we go. Look at that. Do I do it again? Riptide. Running down to the riptide. I think I've heard an actual husky sing better than me. I am getting fed up. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm gonna have to take a break. I'm gonna have to take a break. How long has it been? It has to have been like 25 minutes. You've got three seconds. If not, I'm walking away. I'm done. I'm done. I'll be back. I'm done. I need to take a break. I need to know how rare knockback two is. Why? For what reason? L. L, 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 even more. Come on, you bastard. <gasps> it's there! Oh my god. Hooray. Rejoice! The Lord has given us a little joy! I don't... I don't even... <laughs> I'm gonna be really disappointed when I actually can't do this. Oh, and don't forget the fact that I don't even have a weaponsmith. No. Really? I hate this game right now. I actually- I can't even think. I'm so pissed off. Here I come to mine some iron so that I can trade with this little shit. Alright, you stay here. Stupid villager. Stupid dumb villager. Bad stupid idiot. This isn't even the right one! Oh, it's down here. It's all good. It's all good, man. Hey! No, 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 no! Come here, come here! No! I- I'm- I'm getting off. I'm getting off. We are gathered here today to celebrate the life of Echo. A cat like no other gave us memories of joy and times of happiness. Although the time together was short, Echo made everything better, including this video. And in one final wish, Echo said, you should like and subscribe. To which I said, Echo, that's a great idea, they should like and subscribe. I hate that this happened already! If I find another sweet berry anywhere, I'm going to burn it. I've had enough. One day, I will make sure that there are no sweet berries left on this planet. And we are gonna start with this village right now. It's time to get going. Poor Echo. I actually can't believe that. I can't believe that pets can teleport into sweet berries. Every single one that I find, I'm going to burn. I'm gonna burn this whole forest down. Mega Taiga was a curse all along. You wanna play that game, berries? You wanna play that game? Fine. I'll play that game too. Oh, I'm gonna make something. I'm gonna make something silly. The entire course of everything has been shifted. No more. No more of this biome. No more of this fucking fruit. Burn! Burn! I will find every last berry between here and nowhere. You think you could escape me, huh? Get in there! Run! Be free! You aren't a part of this crusade. Unless you want to join. We're recruiting. Alright, I take that as a no. You can stay down here. You're safe now. <laughs> it's time that we do what we came here to do. No more anguish. No more running. No more fear. Your days are numbered. Now come here. <laughs> Hi! Oh, I'd be a shame if you died. Oh, it's a shame. Oh, look how far you went. That was silly. You think you're allowed to exist? Aw, unlucky. What about you? Who do you think you are? Aw, enemies. Aw, who cares? Die. Aw, unlucky. We're getting a shield, too. It's time to become immovable object and the unstoppable force. Where's my shield? The one I left here on day one. <laughs> I actually kind of like that. That's kind of funny. And look at that. Right as the anvil breaks. Come here, let me eliminate you. Where did the bat come from? That's Echo. 
like I'm reincarnated. <laughs> I hear a victim. Suffer as I have! Doesn't feel good coming home anymore. We gotta do it for those who are left. It's what she would have wanted. Also, what the fu- Violence! I don't stand for violence. I'm clearly the most pacifist person in this fucking world. I kind of want to kill them both to make it even. Now, no one has the one-up. That's just what a true pacifist would do, right? Well, now we can make concrete powder. Yay! Yay! Yippee! Yippee! Actually, we can't because I'm fucking broke. Oh, I Siri, does it look like I'm talking to you? Really? Did I put this here or is that actually natural? I don't remember doing that. Is there footage of me doing that? I, I don't think I put the penis in the sand. I think that's actually just the way that came. <laughs> Get it? Came? <laughs> we only need a little bit. So I'm taking it from here. I know this isn't on topic, but I was watching back the footage and I remembered that pillager outposts have a very, very rare chance to have an armor trim in the chest up top. I want to take a trip back over there. So that's what we're going to do. Echo led me there, and I have a feeling that Echo's gonna give me something good. One last gift from the Queen. Excuse me, children. Fear not, for I'm not here for your blood. Just for those across the river. My dear god, there's a lot of them! They're, okay, they're just killing one another, I don't even have to participate. You wanna be silly? Oh, look, I! Oh, I'm gonna let your friend shoot you! Oh, I'm lucky! And now the friend dies. Come on, Echo. You had to have been leading me to something. No! But, a goat horn! It's alright. We're here to save the Allays, too. Will they follow me if I do that? Oh. Wait, yeah. Okay, they do follow me. Let's go, my friends! Victory is ours! <laughs> what that little goofy ass laugh? I'd imagine when they're holding an item they can't despawn, but we're gonna name them both anyway. Because they're both holding bread, I kinda wanna call them bread puns. But I think one's gonna be called carb, and the other one's just gonna be called multigrain. Carb. Multigrain. <laughs> they don't teleport, do they? No, they kinda just freak out there. Well, that's alright then. They can- they can hold their bread. Hmm. Well, we committed a war crime. That's my favorite thing to do. My brain is fried. This has been a rough weekend. <laughs> I say we build the damn house. Uh, I left a whole bunch of stuff over at the other base. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. This routine is getting old. Back over to this damn village 19 times. Whoa. Whoa. I want to get those two other sheep, but I'm not going to mix them with Marvin. Because I don't want to lose Marvin. Actually, now that I think about it. Hmm. You know what? You get to be right up here. That is the first animal that I've bred. Actually, you know what? We have them. Why not use them? I think like white concrete powder and wool blocks because those are important. <laughs> They're kind of funny. <laughs> Look at them go! Oh, thanks. Dude, they're actually kind of useful. Dude, dude, like, dude, dude, they're like, actually kind of useful, dude. Wait, but they didn't go get the ones in the water, though. That kind of sucks. That's kind of the reason I wanted them. Can you go get them? Oh, look at them go! But he does actually go get them. They are really cool mobs. Oh, and then the dolphin's just fucking with them. Let me see if I can make another, like, pattern. It might look better when it's decorated, but I don't really like that by itself. It might just end up looking better as a full snow wall. Just the blue in it is what's causing a problem. That works. Like that, where the white is the primary and the edging is the darker whites, aka Okay, gray. Aha! Wait, this is a good new task! Hold on! These guys might actually be perfect for this. Alright guys, come on. You got this. <laughs> My minions. <laughs> Jesus! Well, thanks. I remembered there was a lush cave all the way out here. So this is the one I'm going for. Because I knew where it was, and I didn't feel like, you know, looking for one. If we can find where I mined the obsidian, then it's straight across from that. Would you look at that? They should have a curse called, like, Curse of Ignition. It can rarely come with- HOLY FUCK! Is that what I think it is? No way! You're coming home with me. Well, what do you know? Marvin's got a girlfriend. What I was saying about the curse is there should be, like, a Curse of Ignition that can come alongside Fire Aspect, and, like, when you hit a creeper, it ignites it. Very simple. This video should just be called, I Named Everything I Came Across. Alright, you will stay down here for a little while. All that for some clay! Yippee! Yippee! Hooray!
Look at that. It's definitely coming together. Just for now, I want to fill in the ceiling. Okay. Well, this definitely isn't where I wanted it to end, as we've barely even finished the room. Pretty much just got a shell here. It needs a lot more work, and hopefully within the next episode, I will get that done. But I am running out of space. This video is already probably gonna reach 40-ish minutes, and I know I need to get it done. A lot happened this episode. A lot did. Got a lot done. Had a lot of bad things happen. Had a lot of good things happen. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Like, support the channel in any way that you can. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment if you don't mind. Like, just it, pump it full of- pump it full of something. Whatever YouTube likes. But yeah, that's it for me. This has been episode 3. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.